guys here in this video we are going to learn how to draw a newman projection whenever it is given with pi psi or omega angles on a polypeptide here i have taken tripeptide as an example we know that tripeptide is made with three amino acid residues you can see here okay right. and r indicates the side chain of the particular amino acid residue and we know that the bond between CO and NH as peptide bond. And what is alpha carbon? The carbon of an amino acid which is directly connected with amino functional group and carboxylic acid functional group is considered as alpha carbon. Okay. And now what is pi angle? The angle between alpha carbon and nitrogen of a peptide is considered as pi angle. Now, what is psi? So, the angle between alpha carbon and the peptide carbonyl carbon as a psi angle. Okay. Now, what is omega angle? The angle between the peptide carbonyl carbon and nitrogen as omega angle. Now, after knowing what is pi, what is psi and what is omega. So, we are going to draw Newman projection whenever it is given with pi angle or psi angle or omega angle. I am going to consider pi angle whenever it is given as 180 degrees how can you draw a Newman projection okay and we know that in Newman projection the dot indicates the front atom and the ring indicates back atom okay right here the nitrogen as dot that means the front atom and alpha carbon as a ring that as back carbon in that Newman projection okay now I'm going to find uh, I'm going to draw a Newman projection whenever uh, pi angle is given as 180 degrees okay right now just look at here so the nitrogen as a front atom and which has two bonds one is hydrogen and one is so one is hydrogen and another one is the remaining uh, amino acid residue of the tripeptide okay right so here the back carbon as alpha carbon so that alpha carbon has one R group one hydrogen and another remaining amino acid residue of the tripeptide okay so here one hydrogen one R group and another another uh, the amino acid residue of that um, tripeptide so here the angles can be considered between the two carbonyl groups on the Newman projection here we have given that the pi angle is 180 degrees. So, the two carbonyl groups on the Newman projection should have 180 degrees. Then it is considered as pi 180 degrees on that tripeptide. That's it. Simple. Okay. Right. Now, whenever it is given with the pi angle minus 120 degrees, then how can you draw it? So, simply you need to rotate the front uh, nitrogen or the front carbonyl group so just uh, uh, make it sure that don't rotate or don't change the atoms on the back alpha carbon just rotate the front nitrogen and its bond its uh, uh, residue residual bonds okay so here whenever it is rotated so here whenever it is rotated anti-clockwise like this uh, till to get 180 angle between the two carbonyl groups is considered as minus 120 degree angle of that psi on that tripeptide okay so simply whenever the rotation of the front nitrogen in an anti-clockwise direction so we need to add minus sign okay so here it is 120 degrees then if it if it should be minus 60 degrees then this carbonyl group should be here okay like that and uh, for example if it is given plus 120 degrees then what you do simply so the you just rotate this uh, carbonyl carbon here uh, here okay then you can see the angle between these two should be uh, uh, these two here it will be 120 degrees and this angle is in clockwise direction so that's why we consider it as plus 120 degrees okay so just consider the carbonyl groups on the Newman projection to find the different angles of the pi on the uh, given peptide 
okay so if it is clockwise then you should add plus angle and if it is anti clockwise you should add minus angle on it okay so in the next uh, uh, video we are going to learn how to draw newman projection whenever it whenever it is given with uh, psi and omega okay right i hope uh, it is going to help you for you thank you very much